approved by town meeting, but only partly or never re re yes. used. Yes. So we didn't get back all of the stuff. Well, there's a couple of projects that we've discussed that are unclear. Um, Whether they were finished oh, let's see, or... Let's see if we get to it today. Okay, well, I just wondered if that 888 would be higher. We don't, yes, it, yes, it would be. If this money came back it to this. It would be, but we're not sure. Okay, so this is the money. This, this is the minutes from the previous meeting. I know, but still, I wanted to know what that was. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Okay. Um, we got. Well, we said we're going to get the number, so we have to go to the number six. We'll see if we can get to it. 
$88,835 from the state as a 33% match. Can you say that number again? Still yes, I can. Eight, 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 three, five. Want to know the state? Yeah, from the state, 33%. Want to know the happy numbers? Now they're a bit confusing because it says here that we got $855 from the 2012 surcharge. So that, hmm. what? <laughs> and also from 2017. Okay. So for 2018, the Hadley contribution was two, six, three, four, five, eight, and 12 cents. My guess, my guess is um, that is maybe they collected on old bills. So, so they st sent out because they were going to, you know, scare <coughs> maybe foreclosure, something was going in, and been paid that long. And then finally they got a bunch, and that was probably from 2012. But, I mean, oh, there's high old bills that okay. are just coming in. Well, that makes nice that makes sense. You think it was money? Do you, do, they, money. do you have a breakdown, Andy, how much is in each individual? Uh, yes. Account. Yes. Uh, where's, yes where's housing these days? Okay. Um, sorry, I only have one copy of these. Things. That's fine. Okay. Open space has the thirty-six thousand dollars that we voted in. Historic has eighty-seven thousand one hundred nine eight seven one zero nine. Housing has two hundred nineteen thousand. 959 21959 and general is 1,545,687 uh, The reason why the numbers don't add up is because there's also interest and others as long as we're in the ballpark, I think that's really all that matters. Yeah. Trying to get a, it all depends on the time of day, it all depends who you talk to, what kind of answer you get. Well, uh, $15,000 plus interest. Yeah. So how much of this is already committed? Um, this, is what's, this is what's available. Eighty million. I'm sorry. He was asking how much? In the historical allocation, it's 89. No, I was asking no. how much is committed. How much is committed? How much, how how much oh. do we have promised to other? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, that, yeah, basically, uh, it's how much is, is available to spend versus that's how all. much is already spent. Right. right. This is what's available to spend. You can see the way it's broken down by town meeting. Okay. And the expenditures are taken. Good. So there's three, three, three hundred sixty something thousand dollars that was promise. Am I correct? Hey! Hello. Oh my gosh. I'm just, we have I'm just enjoying my shower when I just, I got to be <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pull, up. Pull up a chair. It's good to see everybody here. Yeah. You're, you're <coughs> eating. So I have a question. Yes. We're looking for a way to kill some time. Yeah. Can anybody think of a way we're going to spend the housing money? Well, let the housing authority. <laughs> well, I know that's, you know that's the only option we have right now is the housing authority. Is there any other way that we, the town, can spend that money that we can think of? Yeah, yes, a certain developer puts some money aside in a housing fund, but we haven't formed the housing trust fund yet. But it's money is set aside, coupled with this, and. There is a possibility that we can pull the money together and come up with some affordable housing units somewhere. Okay. But it's much more complicated than we ever, ever thought it would be. Amy has some knowledge in it because she's on the board. But it's expensive and it probably only can be rentals. Right. Because you know, Mike Sarzinski, when you start talking in numbers and in, in financing, he really knows the stuff. And 
we, we wanted some uh, affordable units set aside for the 55 and older housing. It's like a catch-22, but these people who would qualify for that really can't get the bank or anybody to back them to buy it. So it's, it, it doesn't happen. Yeah. Rentals are probably the only way. Okay. And that money could be spent I got shut up from this. And, uh, are we on TV? Yes, we are. I'm not on TV. Well, we're not live. Okay, we're so, but there's uh, Mountain View Apartments that need some fixing. And they're coming up. Uh, they're going to come off the affordable list. And maybe there is some way that we can negotiate something with that money. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if I can explain it, but it's, it's... Well, I just was wondering if any, you know, anybody in town is thinking about it because that fund just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up, and it's great that the money's there, but it would be nice to be able to spend it. And to your point, everything's expensive, I realize that, so there's a couple hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars in there, which is nothing, com you know, compared to what would be necessary to build a project or something, but I, I think I like the idea that we would have something available in town for the over 55 community that can't afford to live in their well, house but wants We to. have that number, but the affordability in Hadley is 13%, the highest highest in the Happy Valley, so yeah. which is unusual. Go ahead. Wasn't there a project that <coughs> came before uh, um, this committee last year or something to deal with the windows and Golden Court here? There was yeah. a proposal there was some talk it about never, it. It, it never, never happened. happened. We never received the application for that. No, we uh, ran into a couple of snags uh, on that as to what would be the type of windows we'd have to get, and, you know, what size they'd be, and so on and so forth. And uh, still being looked at now, we have a lot of the answers, but Weren't, we're not, we weren't able to get all the information we wanted and the price, uh, of course, because of the size, shape, style. So not all standard? They're not all standard, no. I mean, this is uh, not that we certainly could use more units. We could always use more units for affordable housing, but I was just thinking from an energy conservation standpoint and, and a, com uh, a com living comfort standard it's 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 really the more you look into it it's, it's a catch-22 and i'm trying not to usurp too much time there are three states that have this 10 percent affordability clause uh new york california and massachusetts the highest price of housing is in those states in other words if brandy is going to build 10 units of housing off Autumn Drive, uh, one of them has to be affordable, or two has to be affordable. If we if we demand that as a community, guess what? He's not going to take a haircut on the other one. The other housing prices will have to go up to pay for these. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about the high cost of housing, this is contributing to it. So it's, <coughs> it's uh, once again, it's a catch twenty two. Is there, there are other projects you could uh, put in handicap accessible bathrooms or kitchens into existing units, uh, ramps, that kind of stuff. But it is a concern that, that we're going to be losing quite a few units. A, po a possibility of a, a, a possibility, possibility, possibility so that question. money yeah. so that money could be used. I know the select board is working on it. I know the planning board went to the select board. The select board has been working on it. Um, Dave Nix has been doing the research on it. They're looking to see what they can do to make sure we stay where we are. So In other words, he'll, we, the, he, he can hold us up. Right. There's a, you know, I will not convert these to market rate housing if you give me X amount of right. Uh -huh. Does everybody sitting at this table understand what you're talking about? You're talking about 40B, right? Yes. Everybody know what that, that is? Yeah. 40B is a way for a developer to circumvent the local zoning ordinances. Right. All, all municipal ordinances, including the Wetlands Protection Act. 
Right. To an and uh, the guideline is if 10 if 10 percent or over of your housing is listed as affordable, you they mm -hmm. they don't have right. Uh, so they still have to abide by, by the zone. To yeah. answer to Randy's question, if we if we traditionally are having 12 to 14 housing units built per year in Hadley. At that rate, it would take us 60 years to get below the 10%. Uh, somebody could come in with a 40B housing. But Amy is correct. We're going to lose some of the rates, I mean, some of the housing we have, a certain number. So that, that would factor into it. However, Sunderland has 0.4%. Hatfield has 3%. South Hadley has 6%. Practically every community is under 10%. So there is really no sanctions against these communities, only threats. Right, but they are vulnerable to someone going in there versus Hadley's more desirable because you've got the schools, you've got access to bus service, you've got um, you know, malls, and you've got, you know, Northampton right there. So Amherst. In Amherst. You've got more accessible areas that people would want to be near versus if you're in Hatfield, really the only place you have is Northampton. But there's really no bus service and there's no real set area to go back and forth. Where here you have that public transportation. Okay, folks, I'm describing. Well, can mm -hmm. I ask one more question? Is Mountain View but cast in stone their decision to leave the... Uh, no. That's not, okay. That can be negotiated. Well, they would have to be willing to do it. To say To stay. Yes, right. Okay, I, I had originally thought of doing the vote on the, um, from the cemetery committee. We had two proposals, but they're not here. Do we want to proceed with that one? Or do we want to wait and see if somebody comes or what do people want to do? Why don't we Have they been here before? Yeah. yeah. Twice. And they... Which one are we talking about? The cemetery. Okay, why did they come twice? Did we not have a quorum? Mm -hmm. and they Last week we didn't have a quorum and we couldn't vote. And the time, and the time, the time before... Copy of there. Do you have and the time vote? before... Yeah. Was it we were the presentation? I was ready to vote, but our chairman said, you know, traditionally we have Two, two weeks to think it over, then we vote. Okay. So. Do the members that were here for the initial meeting, I guess, feel that you had sufficient information? So it that was they sufficient didn't have to come back extremely and explain well more. presented. I it yeah, I think perfect. it was very well presented, mm -hmm. and I thought it was. Uh, right, they're some, willing to put their own. Uh, um, yep. yeah, there's, there's two proposals. There's. There's already been a plan for the Hockenheim Cemetery, privately painted. So they want money to implement that plan. And then they want, a, they want a second proposal, more money, to make a plan for the rest of the cemeteries. And then they'll come back later to get money to implement that plan, whatever it turns out to be. So it's, I, um, I read the plan online and thought it was excellent. Uh, Not support both of them. So this is for planning money? $23,000 uh, for preservation and restoration at Hockenham Cemetery. That's the first one. And $12,000 for a preservation plan for Plainville, Russellville, North Hadley, and Old Hadley Cemetery. How much was the second one? 12000 12. Is Russellville the main cemetery on Cemetery Road? No. Uh, that's old no, that, that's old Hadley. It's Russellville is the uh, second sharp seven. bend in North Hadley, the second going out past the, the pond. Yeah. You go out and you, the road long. turns to the right. Mm -hmm. It's right oh, right before you get to the corner on the left, you can't see it. It's up on a hill back there. Oh, yeah, I know. The big black fence in the driveway. Well, the death North Hadley Yeah, Russellville is way up. Russell oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the way out. Oh, yeah, right. I'm the sorry. little one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Plainville, Russellville, what was the other one? Old Hadley. Okay. 
Well, I can send. Can I, can, to I, me, I can send it to you. I just want to throw it in. Okay. So, worth having. Um, yeah, this stuff needs to be done. Yeah. But this is the kind of stuff that we want to happen. Yeah. Because it really it needs. And it was very detailed right. plan about what they want to do. Or even just reading it. In, in, in a two minutes time I can see that it's well worth doing because that's the kind of stuff that once once it gets the last to time, a certain uh, point it's you get to the point of no return a number a number of years ago we uh, the hot mountain cemetery approached us to do the same thing but there was a question of where the boundary is Does, is it on town line or oh, that was to fix the wall so yeah. uh, so uh, this work does not include the wall this work does not include the wall it's just the two the, the, the grave tombstones are yeah. part of part. its history. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so where does this money come from? The historical or general? The historic. Yeah, you, yeah. Have to, you have to use the set asides first. You have to use the set asides first. So that's only seven thousand one hundred dollars. Eighty-seven. Oh, I can't read my own writing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty-seven. Right. Is that just eighty thousand mm -hmm. dollars? Yeah. 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 It's more than that. Oh yeah. Right. Plus next year they'll get another like thirty-eight thousand dollars. I'll move approval. I'll okay. second. All right. So uh, any further discussion? No, they're willing to put in some money, some of their own money. So yeah. that's yeah. important. Okay. Do we have need two separate votes, or should, could we get two together? Votes. Yeah, I think we okay. should do two votes. Are they are there two oh. separate orders? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's two separate proposals. I think it's so. just simpler to explain the town meeting. Yeah. Yeah, it's two separate proposals, so I think it makes sense to vote Okay, twice. so for 20, the it's moved and seconded that we use $23,000 from the historical preservation set aside. Um, I wrote a sample in mm -hmm. the article. And that's to implement the Hockenham Cemetery plan? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And are we going to put conditions on it? Well, here's what I wrote. The town transferred $23,000 from the Community Preservation Act Historical Preservation set aside to the Happy Cemetery Committee for the preservation and restoration of historic gravestones in Hot Room Cemetery, 1767, located at the uh, Set expenditure to be conducted within two years of the date of uh, 2018 full town meeting, November 1st, 2020. Should you put anything in there you know, to reference their proposal? I think we should because. Wait, 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 wait. So you you made a you know your motion to transfer money over to the cemetery committee to be used in, to be used in two years. But it no. doesn't for the you know it does say in accordance with the proposal in or as submitted. With the proposal yeah. As presented. Yeah, because there's some details in that. I agree with you, Andy. There's details in their proposal that you know it says they want to do 53 gravestones or whatever. If you give them. We give them twenty-three thousand, or they get twenty-three thousand dollars from town meeting, and they go into three gravestones. You know, they, I think if you just to Paulette's point or Andy's point, just it, reference the reference the proposal. The proposal, proposal. proposal presented to the CPA committee on when was it? August six. Two thousand. Is that enough? I think so. Okay. Uh, I'll add that to the second one. Yeah. August six. That's when the original pre uh, okay, yeah, presentation was done. So, um, do they give a time limit in there when they will be done? I always they don't, we did. Um, I know you did. So um, I always think that's a bit draconian. No. No. Because we've had projects that have set up. I understand that, but if they, they can you come. could say a significant portion of the work has no. begun they can come within and get, two years. They, right. they, they can, can come and get an extension. Yeah. They can come and get an extension, extension and that's to it. People that have come and asked for said, you know, we ran into some snags, this happened, that happened, we need an extension. So it'd be in two years that they come back. And right. And right. In this case, case, they don't have to go out to bid either. Right. So they can already make the agreement. Right. I mean, there has been times right. when projects uh -huh. have, have gone on for things, you know, work conditions, weather, that need to be extended. Yeah. Right. And without this clause, that. we have to have a town meeting vote to call back the money. And with this sentence, we don't have to. 
Did they just come to the CPA and ask for an extension? Do you, well, do you say in meeting. there Again, that money yeah. will be returned if not expended it, we're, or we're, we're an extension is not money. granted? It's not our money. It's because, no, I don't. I don't. Okay, we should say something like that. that Excuse me, what? If, well, in Surplus order to, to be returned. if the money is not expended or an extension has not been requested um, by the two-year date, then monies will be returned. Then that way it says it in there. And well, we that, just started, we're, we're, so we're starting something new. We've never said that before. Right, but we've ha always had to, based on the wording, we've had to go back to town meeting in order to turn the money back to us. That way, we don't have to go back to town meeting. It would automatically mm -hmm. come back to us. about four monies returned by that year? Unspent funds? Or yeah, unspent funds. Unspent, yeah. Unspent, yeah. Once the town meeting approves, it's out of our hands. Right, but if they haven't expended it or requested an extension, we so don't have to go back to town meeting to say return the money to us. Is, is so what's the difference? What's the condition? It well, why, why, we why, don't, why, we're not why do you have you. a problem with town meeting saying, oh yeah, take the money back? This is one way to uh, streamline the process. Streamline it. So we don't have to go back to town meeting. So well, what happens if you forget about chasing down a particular project's money? Look at look at how That's many right, projects. Not, not, yeah. But one yeah, it's one less Warren article, Amen. and think about we had all those projects where we had to go back to town meeting and have town meeting vote again to refund the, all the money that wasn't spent. Is, is there language we should, you know, is this something David should check with KP uh, to, to make sure that we can do this properly to sweep it up if it's... So this is what um, Smith was talking about. Larry Smith was right. talking about that you should have something in there so it ought to, so you don't have to keep going back well, to town. I meeting. agree with that. I'm just wondering if there should be language that is appropriate in, to make. Well, it yeah, I mean, he'll our right. attorney will look at that language anyway. So. I think that Andy can come up with a boilerplate to have for future, or you can start with this stuff and and then it'll just fill in the blanks kind of thing. I feel like that. <laughs> well, but okay, no, I work appreciate in progress. You, um, so, uh, or unspent funds be returned by that date? I think that's enough for that. Yeah, put it in and leave it alone. Well, and if it's okay. got to be put in, and then I'll, I'll put I'll put those two sentences that we just added in the mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, any other discussion? We might want to say automatically be returned. Rather, so that it closes out the possibility of well, we can, we need well, to go I back think to town meeting. Being returned implies that some whatever yeah. mechanism is appropriate. I'm fine with automatically. Okay, any other discussion on this one? Then we'll say that a vote to approve the language is also a vote to approve the warrant article. Okay, First. so uh, we've got a motion and a second. Yep. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Motion, second. Aye. Any, any opposed? Wahoo! Okay. That's, the, that's part one, right? Okay, yep. Okay, the next one will be the town to transfer $12,000 from the Community Preservation Act Historical Set Aside to the Abbey Cemetery Committee to conduct the study of possible restoration and conservation work to the historic town owned cemeteries. Uh, in accordance with the proposed plan for the number six, blah, 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 to include Plainville, Russellville, North Hadley, Old Hadley Central Section Cemeteries. Say so expenditure to be conducted within two years of this date, uh, November 1st, 2020, or unspent funds are automatically returned by that Any comments on the language? Move to approve. Who's the cemetery committee? Uh, I don't know exactly who's on the cemetery committee. Alan Weinberg was the presenter. Yeah. Who? Alan Weinberg was the presenter. Oh. Does it have any other names? No. I know the guy who works on it. Pardon? I, so I know the guy who works on it, but I don't think he's on the committee. 
Okay, I'll yeah. second. Yeah, and Gary, Gary Bird does all the work on it. You're not on the committee. So, well, if we're going to give this money, I don't think we have a motion. Right. Oh, we didn't yeah, have a motion. Yeah, we had a motion. If, if we're going to give this money to the cemetery committee, who's going to be running it? Who's in charge of the money? They are. Whoever's on the committee. Who's on the committee? The committee. I don't know. We're not that I have to sell it. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the hands of the select board. Once the town meeting approves it, it's in the hands of the select board, isn't it? Is that it? what we were told? No, no, no. It's, it, I mean, is, is it relevant we to what no. It's out of it's once. Yeah. Is it relevant to the language of the article? Mm -hmm. Well, well, I think it's, well, a, good, yes, I think it's well, a good question. So, you just, you're going to but, give money to the, center, to, to the committee and nobody's on the committee? No, we, we, we did have a good presentation before, but yeah. he was by himself. He did say he was newer to the committee. Mm -hmm. He was what? He's new to the committee. Oh. Weinberg is new to the committee. Newer. So mm -hmm. okay. And they're not going to be doing this work themselves, I'm sure. So, so. I think that's so. a good question to ask a town meeting. He had, yeah. As far as I know, he had it. As far so as the work goes, he Thayer. had someone. He, if you look through with. this, Rick Thayer yeah. is one of the, looks like one of the committee members. He said Nor, Norm Barstow was the one that was doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, Andrew, you're going to inform them about the vote in the, they will have to make the presentation to the town meetings? That's usually mm -hmm. the way it works. Okay. Yeah, and I don't think Rick Thayer's on the committee. I, I think believe, Alan will probably present I believe that he I just did so. that as a private citizen. Okay. Right. I think he, they, that, that, that's right next to the door to their house, yeah. so I think they did it as private citizens. But anyhow. I did see them all out there. Well, do we think this is a reason to hold, hold off the... I don't. No, no. I, don't. No, I mean, it's, it, the money will go to the cemetery committee, and the board of selectmen, or our... And the town administrator will be responsible, if town meeting approves it, to ensure that it meet all expenditures meets the requirements of the CPA. Because we've been told we don't so we don't do that anymore. Yeah. The so David Nixon or the board of selectmen is now responsible for checking off the little boxes that all expenses Should meet the requirements. The Treasurer. Town treasurer isn't going to check off the boxes on this. They just cut the check. It's going to be the board of selectmen and, and or David Nixon. Ultimately, it's the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. That's what we were told. That's it doesn't we come to us by, anymore. Uh, yeah, no. doesn't come to no. us. Um, we're, we don't approve payment of anything. Okay. So, because they said supposedly they had issues with this board taking too long to sign off on things being paid. That's what we were told. That's what we were told. Really? So, and so therefore the board of selectmen said they would... And it would affect the town's would, bond rating, quote unquote. Right. But also it's not part of the law. It's not The part CPA of the committee law. has uh, oversight of the projects once the money's allocated. Frankly, I don't want to go out to these projects and decide if they're building the casino properly. <laughs> you know? Well, the whole the whole idea is that uh, 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 bills would be submitted, and I would review them. You would look at them. We would sign off on them. We'd give them to the treasurer to pay, and they'd pay it. And it wasn't a three-month process. No, or a it was two a weekly process. process. Right. Yeah. Well, well they, whatever. David still. They want to do it. Amen. Exactly. Right. Amen. Okay. So but I would be careful, Andy, on saying if David's emailing you, saying having you certify that the funds are being expended in accordance with the CPA. Oh, I, I don't. All I do is call the, the person in charge of the project and ask if they're satisfied. That's all I can do. Make satisfied no. with the work, if the work was done well, oh. if they had any problems. Okay. But the town manager and board of selectmen 
are the ones who, if we ever get audited by the state, and they look at what the funds were expended, and they say, you shouldn't have paid this, you shouldn't have paid that. Doesn't come back that up. That does not come back to this committee because that's been taken away from this committee. Right, that's right. fine. That so, sounds good to me. Okay. Okay, so we'll get back to the vote. And this request is for $12,000. Yes. Correct. Yep. Right, to come Let's out study. of the historical set aside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Any further discussion on this one? Uh, I, no, I just, I just like to know if I'm giving money to a committee. You'd like to see some yes. here? I'd like to know who's on the committee. Right. That's all. And I mean, of course. That's a fair I'm, question. It's a fair question. I'm going to put my $20,000 here. here. Okay, it's on the improvement committee. Who? Well, we don't know. We haven't figured it out. Well, so every time they can hear it, says, well, I'm in charge. We figured it's 10000 Here's 5000 from every time they can hear it, and over says she's on the committee. I share the sentiment. It would be nice, nicer to for folks to come through with the. I mean, if you got to meet twice for here, but you are getting a fair amount of money to. Uh, well, shape that even if it's well, he was here last week, but we he could say, "Look, you weren't here." Mm -hmm. But I think that's he was here last know. week. Mm -hmm. We weren't. I think it's a good idea, and I, and I know darn well you need money for the cemetery committee to keep it. All right, right now they have Merle Buckhout, Buckhout. Buckhout. Diane Stengel, James Freeman, Alan Weinberg, and Emily Reamer. Those are the members of the committee. Those are the people who will be responsible. Five people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as we put the uh, you know, money here. Well, if, if, some, if you're not satisfied, you know, vote up. I, uh, but this money, the twelve thousand dollars, is for planning. Is to come up with a procedure. Right. Yeah. And, and my well, guess yeah. is the oh, cemetery that's committee that's is not going to do that. that. They're going to hire somebody. Right. To do They're going to hire someone. Yeah. yeah. So but it's an excellent idea. I mean, Andy has been emphasizing this, and I think it's an excellent idea to have a plan before we give mm -hmm. the big bucks. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Don't just come out with something right. and say, we want, we want. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. That's good there. Okay. Any other discussion? Then let's vote. In favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Staying. No, I, okay. I think we should give them the money. Oh, so you're voting yes? I'm voting yes. Okay. So what is that? Yes. One, two, Nine no, two one zero. abstention. Okay, Who abstained? Carol? No, I didn't abstain. No, she oh, didn't. Oh, I thought you said I no, abstained. No, I, I, I asked if there was she anything. She made the motion. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking I, that maybe. I apologize. No, yeah, she made the motion. I thought she did too, Andy, so. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm taking minutes and I did one, so. <laughs> one demerit for the chairman. <laughs> no, no demerit for that. Okay. Um, so even though they're not here, we pass both the Yeah. Okay. The, um, uh, we got a possible last minute proposal from the select board. For, Did we get something in writing uh, from them? About the no. We didn't hear from the church. church. Yeah, true. We didn't get anything from them, so as far as I'm concerned. Well, from can I just, Debo? my concerns Not about for Sandy Beach, Sandy oh, Beach yeah. is a couple things. and. A, right now it's floodplain forest where they want to clear and make a beach. Um, it's why it's um, endangered species habitat, so they would have to jump through all the hoops um, in order to cut down floodplain forest and endangered species habitat. They would also have to do restoration somewhere else. I don't know where the town is going to get that money. My understanding is the proposal is to create a beach and a dock. Where? No, that's not what they said to us. That's that was the house exactly what I got from Can David Nixon. Right, but you know what? They're, they're not, not here. Right. So that's where Sandy Beach used to be. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna pass over it because they're not here. And right. Submitted anything. Okay. Right. I think that's a good and idea. That's why I brought it up because I thought it would be quick. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, pass over. Well, I think we should vote on dismissing. it. We don't have any really We don't have anything to dismiss. We don't have anything to vote on. It was not presented at the non-meeting. 
so they can't <laughs> vote to dismiss it. It never happened. It's I'll funny. Just add that the, well, the, and I emphasize all of that, and they had no clue. Well, and they, you know, they come up with some parable like we should buy land when it becomes available. And I was saying, we're not good custodians of real estate in this Well, time. they well, could no. buy it, but That's they can't parent. propose <laughs> to develop it without They'll going through back. all the permitting. Well, yeah. If so, they want. So. The original master plan in 2005, there was the, the whole, every household survey mm -hmm. in town. There, this issue came up for um, uh, riverfront uh, access. And at the, you know, at the time, there, certainly we know it's all privately owned. There isn't any public access to the river. Um, so a lot of people wanted it, but the concern then was the liability of uh, the town owning and operating a beach on moving mm -hmm. water. It's a whole, my understanding, it's a whole different ballgame than a lake. The uh, dangers are significantly higher for personal injury or worse. And if they're um, talking about putting a dock in there, I mean, you're, you're talking recreation would have to have full-time staff down there seven days a week, mm -hmm. including some type of police presence, because well, who's going to... Well, not lifeguards. Well, right. Not well, let's hope but, we have a thorough discussion on this project right. if it's ever presented to us. I just came from the capital plan, and they talked about this. And they are expecting something to happen. It was funny because I just met with David Nixon and Christian Stanley says, Is that that going? I said, Well, we had a lot of questions and there were none of them were answered. So in my thinking is I didn't get the warm fuzzies that or that, that we were gonna put this through. And he says, Really? It was presented almost to the select board like this is favorable upon CPA. So I, but they're not here, so I don't understand because they, when I just came from them, they just said, they make it sound like this is a And they wanted to use the but woodchuck fund from Conservation Commission for the matching funds, but the commission hasn't discussed it, hasn't voted on it, and typically woodchuck funds are not used to destroy floodplain forests and well, endangered species. It's very, it's very intriguing, but I would a lot of interest in what ComCon has to say on this. To, to mm -hmm. Joe's point, we need a plan before mm -hmm. we go and spend the money. Right. Because it's yeah. That's exactly. we're, we're right in the middle of that now with some other projects in well, town. And it's and almost and like Marie indeed. Antoinette said, let them eat cake. I mean, we've got North Haddon Hall to attend to. They wanted 300000 to paint the town hall. You've got Russell School that's left unattended. And certainly, we're going to have the new, the old library to take care of. Well, I mean, he's on the committee, and you guys live with it. Why are we looking to build gazebos in? <laughs> and because it's, it's, it's easy like money. You, they want to buy a new boat, and our house is falling down. It's, you know, like your kids coming to you. Mm -hmm. say, let's, let's have a big speedboat, and but the house, the porch is falling down. So. Mm -hmm. okay. That's, that's a good segue because the gazebo project was also withdrawn. The towns that we had no plan there too. The and in fact, when we asked, I'm glad you asked for the plan when he picked up the gazebo. The one behind the school, grammar school. No, no, no. 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 this is the common. The second common. We have drawings on the on the town building, town. but not a site plan. Right. And if they're interested in pursuing it, they will come back. Okay. okay. So let's move on now. Okay, about the gazebo that's being constructed at the grammar school. It was presented as the friends of the grammar school were going to build that. Now, I've heard from a couple of town employees, they're making us work on it. Does that mean the friends of Hopkins Academy can use town employees? Uh, yep. Okay, <laughs> you, you're aware of this. this is, oh, yeah. That's not yeah. quite right either. Well, that wasn't what was presented. Exactly correct. Okay, so there's moving on. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. moving on. Oh, this is too All right. But that would be up to the selectmen yeah. to make that uh, determination. Issue, not us. Not us. It's not our responsibility. Yes, it's not our could, responsibility. Could right. As taxpayers, it is. As okay. for overseers <laughs> of the funds, it does get a little aggravating when the somebody tells you to get Do you have somebody who's actually here? 
Okay. Yes. Waiting for us. Okay. Okay. Well, that I think we should have gone there. Well, I thought this would really be quick to get it over. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So uh, you're on. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> no worries. Thank you for for having me here tonight. We'll come a little closer. Certainly, the camera may not. Do we be have a sign-in sheet. Here. Yep. Uh, yeah, we did that. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and what is her name? Slide is she here. signed on here? Okay. So my name is Carol Anderson. My family has property at 109 Middle Street and at 322 River Drive. I come as a representative of the North Hadley Church as the chairman of the Board of Trustees at the church. The first thing I would like to say to every one of you here is thank you for what you have given us the opportunity to do in terms of restoring the steeple area. We've been very fortunate to work with GB Restorations who did a very good job scraping and just really getting down to the nitty gritty of that steeple area. As they did that, and we had all the rain that we had during the course of the summer. What we found was that we had initial existing deterioration under the flashing in the steeple area. So we, we felt that no matter what we did to the front of the, ch of the church and how we dealt with the steeple, if we were still having rain as an issue, this was not going to be a good thing. And so the decision was made by us at the church to go forward to finish that flashing and to take care of the roof. So that portion of what we have run into um, is, is one thing. As they worked their way toward the back of the roof, they have found additional wood deterioration and flashing that needs to be addressed. So we're coming to you this evening to request an additional $34,000 to cover that particular end of the project. And I'm happy to try to answer any questions that anyone may have. Sounds like they're doing a fairly substantial amount of roof depth repair to replace them. It seems to have been a lot. Isn't that, isn't that a maintenance? Well, you know, as, as, the, as we looked at the steeple itself, you know, it was that immediate area around it that was just so bad in the tumor. And that was where the, the water issue was coming in. So that's, that has been addressed. Do um, you know what type of flashing they're using to go back in? I'm just curious. I know that the historical was all lead. That stuff lasts forever, but it's not, and it's still used. I don't know the type of flashing. I know the type of restoration coating, but I do not know the exact type of flashing. So, Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind, um, the total cost is thirty-six thousand. Are you asking for eighty percent of that, or are you asking for the full amount? And how much is the church willing to? For, for this project, we already, right. the town has already contributed for the steeple restoration and painting and other things. Um, is the church willing to put in its own money towards this? The church project? is willing to put in $10,000, which we all have done, to the deposit to getting this work finished. So we have put that out already. So is, are you asking for twenty six thousand? So I would ten thousand less that. Is the total cost thirty six or forty six? Thirty six. Okay, so you're asking for twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. And this would cover right. both areas. Yes, we cover both areas. Okay. The, well, church, the, church, the, church, the church contributed towards the original amount as well, right? No, they did not. Okay. No, they. Did not. Uh, um, these add up to thirty six thousand these new proposals mm -hmm. and so you're asking for so this is just the total cost of the project will be 36 old 36 right and you're asking for the CPA to contribute 26,000 yes yeah. 
Is it leaking inside the sanctuary? It is leaking in the upper portion of the roof. Because I'm, that North Church has a wonderful organ. <laughs> And I have seen too many roofs leak and ruin organs, so I think it's important that this gets finished. This is well, this is isn't this maintenance? I think the fact that it was it's something that wasn't seen until things were torn apart. I mean, that's not something you would normally see. Right. So if you're gonna if you're if you're if your roof needs replacing on your house. And you find that by a chimney it was not flashed correctly and you got some damage. But it so, was flashed. But it wasn't flashed correctly. Or, or, or something happened. I'm just okay. giving it for instance. Right. So mm -hmm. if you replace a roof, if you called up and said, listen, replace my roof because it's 20, 25 years old and it needs to be replaced and you found damage, then isn't that a maintenance item? Well, what's the restoration item? It's restoration. Yes. No, that's restoration. restoration. This is a steeple. Yeah. Right. This is a little bit more special. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so, Andy. I don't think that, I mean, whatever your name is. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you over there with the hat on. That's a good compliment to me. Which handy way you're slipping in there? I'm not sure about that. I don't think that's maintenance. I think that's unforeseen. It's, it's hidden damage. Yeah. And, and you know, it, 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 chip, it, typically building contractors can't, you either try to build in some money up front that is for unforeseen yeah. things, or this would be something that's done during discovery. And, and you know, they don't have x-ray vision. So sometimes you, you pull apart and this is rotted, now's the time to fix it. Oh, no, I, I get that, I get it. But uh, I think, you know, I'm still, I'm still having a hard, enough, hard time coming around that. Restoration. Yeah, uh, restoration. Versus well, to, to that point, it's fully stripped now. I mean, would there be potentially more discovery for additional problems? I don't think so. I think we've looked at it now all over pretty well. Do we have an application? It's usually, in the, from the building from committee the, standpoint, we, we, have we tried to build in yeah. a little overhead for unforeseen issues. I think this is all I saw. That hard I, to build in for unforeseen issues. You know, and I, I feel like usually ten percent or something. Like that. Yeah, no, I, I just feel like we have we have dealt with it as quick as we could, and as financially responsible as we possibly could because we were able to do part of that work while that lift was here on one initial time. So we've we've really tried to work with the timing. On things. So Carol, did they you went ahead and fixed the flashing now? Yeah. And so now you're looking to backfill that those funds to finish the job? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the church would be willing to put up 10000 toward mm -hmm. that. I don't think they're willing to backfill any. I think this is additional work that needs to be done. Right. Well, I think uh, what I'm saying is if they had a project to strip and paint, and they had so much money to do that, and they tear it apart, and if they were sitting there waiting for the CPA committee to come and approve flashing, meanwhile there's water pouring, yeah. so they fix the flashing, yeah. and guess what? They don't have any money left to finish the paint job. That's right. And I think that's where the and you're so right about that. I, I understand. Oh, I, didn't, so I didn't get that. Oh, yeah. What she was saying, but, but yeah. is, is that first, yeah. first yeah. person yeah. Yeah. had that yeah. yeah. problem, and they had to get rid of the order. Yeah. Yeah. Just about three make sure we understand. We have a historic Inside the trouble by the church state issue? Okay. No, well, I just I'm not, not prevented it. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 To avoid those well, 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 Can I, Carol? Uh, yeah. The, any other the, is there Is there additional work that needs to be done, or is it done already? And to Andy's question, are you just looking to replenish the funds that you've already spent? The additional work is the 16-7 that needs to be done, and there's 7,700 on the flash portion that needs to be done. So it's stuff that has not been done yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, are there other questions or comments? Nope. So I guess this is a question <coughs> is, is this considered, did you fill out a new application, or is this considered like you want to amend or request additional funds on the original application? I would have deferred to Stuart to do that or to know what to do I with that. He, I think he sent me one, 
but I forgot to bring it. Okay. So this would be a new, new application. application. Okay. So this would be its own uh, Warren article. Right. It would be its own Warren article. Which doesn't really make sense because the existing one is still open and this is... Well, but extra money, I think, is okay. voted by town. Right, no, 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 I understand that. But do they physically need a second application or would this go before I think town it, meeting? I think you submitted one, but I forgot to make Okay, That's all right. So, this is, so that means it's a separate application. Okay. Yep. So There's separate applications for 36000 plus plus or minus. But you're asking for twenty six yes, right. for for this project. Right. Okay. For both. Both. Okay. All right. So because if you add up both projects, it comes to thirty six. Yes. Yep. And the church would be willing to put the ten thousand dollars toward that. Okay. So Joe made a motion, I'll second it. Oh well hold on just a second. Um everybody's said anything? Well, I, I have another Please. Question. The wood that's underneath that you said was rotting, mm -hmm. is that the original wood from the from when the church was built? No. <laughs> I really have no idea. Well, I, I think, you know, in yeah. some ways if you're talking maintenance versus restoration. <laughs> well, it, 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 the church is how old? 175? So I'm sure that there's been something done in the Probably. last 175 years. But didn't we consider this to be a restoration project when we, for the first yes, time? Yes, we did. First yeah. time around? I still think it is. I don't think yeah. it's, I don't it's think just it's maintenance. This right. is just extending the uh, scope of the restoration. restoration. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be coming out of the historical set aside? Well, we won't have enough. We'll have to take some out of historical. Well, some out right. of Some out of We're still getting ahead of ourselves. Okay. Right. I haven't commented. <laughs> okay. um, I think this is a harder proposal than the first one. The first one, we were using CPA money to protect the historic view shed of North Hat. So it would look as it has always looked. And it was a secular purpose, even though it's a religious purpose. This is a roof repair. Uh, and so I feel like we sort of need a new justification, other than we really want to help the church. Um, and it's kind of the last one was a stretch, and this one is, is a bigger stretch. Um, so I'm a little worried. I don't think anybody had anything. Okay, well. No, well, nobody sued us, and nobody said anything last time. So that's a thin read to but, have as your strategy. So, well, but if you're looking at... I think it's good that the church is kicking in, because that was part of the Supreme Court's you know, determination. I don't, I don't agree with you that the last one was a stretch, with all due respect, right. Mr. Chairman. Um, and if we pay to paint this pretty facade, and then it all goes because the substructure is rotting, mm -hmm. that, there was a waste of money. That, that's my next question. Yeah. Do you feel that without this work, yeah. this historic building is this in danger? Yes, in the back portion. Yes. yes. Um, and then if I can ask Dr. Zagranik's question, you're going to come back to us for a fourth request when they do this work and find more stuff wrong, and, you know, where are we going to, well, this uh, he's, one he's request, gonna... then these two requests, and then... Well, yeah. this is one request. Well, it's... Well, okay. it, but okay. it's, it's two yeah, the, the third request, you know... Right, you know, but, but I, here's, here's where I look at it from the standpoint of this is work that even if they had planned and gone out to bid, they wouldn't necessarily have seen. And so they would have, if I was a homeowner, I would have to come up with extra money that I may not have. Right. So this is something that, and you spoke to this, that it's unforeseen work that would normally be in a contingency. And so, yeah, I mean, you know. the contractor is has to do the work. So right. the question is, is, you know, if you're dealing with a homeowner, then they've got to come up with the money to to, to deal with it. Yeah. Right. To, to, to fix the repair. And you can't 
sometimes you can you can spot it beforehand. Sometimes you can't. So, uh, but I mean, these are very valid points that uh, you know. And Andy, the, the, the next time, are you on your own, or is it uh, you know, um, are you coming back? Or? I think we'd have to deal with it when we get right, here. Right. None of us can predict the future, mm -hmm. and if for some reason they come back, there's no. We don't have to say yes, and right. you know, it, it's just a question of all right, is this an allowable use? I think I think it is. Um, granted, we they've used CPA funds to start this project, and if you know, in hindsight, if they had seen this ahead of time, yeah. they probably would have asked yeah. for more money up front, yeah. and so I don't have a problem with the fact that they found it once they started digging in because I have the same thing at my office. I pulled an air conditioner out of the wall the other day and now I got a whole wall. I found a whole wall that's rotten that I had no idea was there. So it, it happens. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. I just think and that people are going to ask these questions. Sure. At the well, town meeting. And be, you know, they're going to have to respond. At, at the last town meeting, I don't know what happened. You know, I said, who's here? present this case and nobody stood up. <laughs> well, Marjorie was to, to make that presentation yeah. at town meeting, and that, that had been our plan all along. Okay. Well, maybe you should have a plan B yeah. for yeah. this one, because it's likely, you know, the first time you can, you know, the second time is harder. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the argument can be made that money has been sent, spent to restore the facade and the steeple, and if you don't do this, that is in jeopardy of why? Why would we put the money into it to restore it if it's not a full restoration? I think that's the argument that you're trying to make. Mm -hmm. I yeah. drive by, and it's beautiful. I can it see is. the painting. It is, and I, I just want to let great. everybody know that. Regardless of what people think, we know which way is north, south, east, and west, and we are going to take care of the weather. <laughs> I, think, uh, I, I think they did fix it. I think driving by today, they had north. I heard something about north, that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's the bottom of the church and all the uh, yeah. 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 Well, somebody asked me, did you tell them people that that mother pain is not the right So is this going to be two articles? Um, or how is No, I think it's just going to be one. I think so. All, yeah. I'm just sort of asking for money for two different things. Yeah. Yeah. If you were asking for a preservation plan for the church, then we would have to do it. So we would have to figure out how much is going to come from the historical set okay. aside and how much from the general fund. Right. So, so the so this would be the next part. And that's to transfer how much? Twenty-six. Well, it's twenty-six thousand. How much did we spend on the cemetery community? So, the store had 8719. Yeah. We took 12 and 23. So 35. Minus 20. So 52. Okay, so we had a house. Subtract Sorry. 26. So two okay, I think uh, did. Board, uh, board directors? No, that's what's the left. Right. That's, that's taking, that's taking the yeah, so we we to take this out. Minus to minus know what we have left. And leave us 26,109. What do we want to say? For <laughs> the completion of but that's not the restoration work? That no, I, can't, I don't think you can say completion because we don't know that, but for okay. additional. For additional. Unforeseen repairs. Mm. Additional, restor repairs. Un <coughs> additional <coughs> restoration. <coughs> unforeseen restoration work. Additional restoration work. As presented. If, if we, all you got to do is have a general article, Andy, yeah. Yeah. and the, if people have questions at town meeting, they're going to ask them. Yeah. Okay, uh, as presented on, on this date, said expenditure to be conducted within two years or automatically returned as the point you just decided. Mm -hmm. All right, any 
other discussion? We'll just hope that nobody sees us. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. No. If the town meeting approves it, then the selectmen and the they have to they have to do it. Yeah. We're just recommending it. Okay. So. Do we have a sure. motion and a second? We have a motion. Uh, Joe and Randy seconded. Okay. And then that was all discussion. No, no, no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. And zero abstaining. Okay. Yeah. So make sure you've got a good crew to come to town meeting. Yeah. Thank you all very, very much. Yeah, you're a good speaker. Well, you know, it's it's interesting to to you know to look at that building here to see what is what has been and I don't know. It's, it's it's a community building. It is, and we really are we really want to think about it that way. Yeah. And the more we can do for the community, the better. Really, mm -hmm. better. So, and we came back to from your your generous offer when I was here the last time, and when you said just if you need anything else, come back. So that was one. Took you to heart. Took you to heart. Right. Right. It, it's a little. I feel it's a little trickier than the last one. I, I know, I'm I'm taking that in very very much so, but and we'll be a little okay. better prepared. Because it's still not you know. It's not where religious services take place. It's not a religious iconography, which is one of the things that the Supreme Court said. But then, you know, there's all kinds of crazy, crazy issues. So, okay. Thank you very much. All right. That's only 10 after 8. Um, okay. All right. So the, the next part, potential article I want to talk about is the clawback for the library. Um, what? Yeah. That again? The clawback from the eighty-five thousand dollars for the library. So I have a. What does that mean? That what means is? that town meeting has to vote to return that expenditure to CPA. Since, well, I'm sure there's updates. So anyway, that was my idea. Okay. So, so I, I just wanted to. Please. We talked about that a little bit, and it makes sense because if the library is not going to use it. They send it back until the next person is that mm -hmm. is in the library will use mm -hmm. it, and then they will apply for it, which makes sense. And that's the and electrical? It, yeah. Then the lighting and the right. ceiling. So Have they expended any I of that? I just mentioned, because that just came up. I happened to just, I, I went to this, the, uh, uh, the capital planning meeting just so they'd have a quant today. <laughs> so. You know what that's like. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we talked about that a little bit, and I explained that if the library is not going to use it, we want it back until the next person applies, and then we give it to them. And they said, well, we don't know for sure what's going to happen with the library. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> so in this particular case, let's, can we just hold off on that just a little bit longer to know if we are going to even get a new library? Because yeah. what's happening, they said, we don't know. Well, that make, want, I mean, that makes sense. We were, yeah, do you want to put in a placeholder article? Because between so. now and, and October? Well, that's, mm -hmm. uh, speaking with David Nixon, he said, oh, no, we're gonna, we could use that money for something else. I yeah. said, no, you can't. <laughs> and he said, well, the trustees may decide that they want it after all. And I said, well, they have to call me and tell me. And none of them did. And <laughs> the last I heard was, you know, they had a letter saying they were giving up the project. And, mm -hmm. So who knows what's Did they give there. us the letter? They sent it to me, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so well, library well, sent you I sent a them, letter? I yes. sent them a request for an update. Okay. And they said, we're not sending you an update because we're not doing the project anymore. We handed it over to the select board. They said, can't. Well, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Well, well, if the money was given no, to the No, because it was given to the right. trustees, right. not Correct. to the select board. So from, from, from building com committee uh, history, we know that 88,000 three years ago not no. really relevant to the project now. Well, if they mm -hmm. said that they handed it over to the select board, I believe that's reason enough to take the money back. Okay. However, uh -oh. according to <laughs> what Larry Smith saying, once that passes town meeting, we're done with it. We can't ask for it back. Well, no, Did we can't, we can't ask for it back. Can. We're just not responsible. We have no post-allocation responsibilities. But if the project has stalled or fallen apart, we can 
ask for it. Hence the reason we put, now did that application have the, time have the two no. years? No, no okay. it did not. So that's why we've put this time frame on there yeah. so that it will it comes back come back. Now, if we submit this article mm. and somebody finally gets back to me and says, no, no. They can withdraw it at the time we'll, Then I'll say we yeah. should pass over. Weren't yeah. you taking notes on some of the other projects that had money potentially outstanding and you were going to try to maybe put this all together? But, but I haven't. I, haven't done I mean, yeah. if you wanted to use an article instead of it going after a specific project, you, could you enumerate the number of projects yeah. and then if they want to uh, line one out? Well, I could, but I, or we could, but I don't think we have time for this one. The way it was explained, well, at least Linda Sanderson explained it to me, is that the money was okay, we didn't give them the money, so therefore we still have it, but we said it, uh, we put it over here, so that it would be available for them to spin. So therefore, they don't have it, you have it, we, you don't have to ask for it back because you have it. But you can't allocate it twice. Right. I'm, that's the way right. it was explained. I right. didn't agree with that at all. No. But I'm just passing on information. Mm -hmm. So this article is more for the select board than for the library trustees. Mm -hmm. Because they said that, that letter, they are not moving forward. But so making a copy of that letter. Based on that letter, not on any town meeting vote. No. Right. No. So the fact that the library trustees who were the recipient mm -hmm. of the funding they have said they are not going forward with the project, so therefore that money should be returned to CPA and could be reallocated when a new entity comes forward Don't with, stop a it right plan, there. Don't even put a with a plan for restoration of the building. Or it could but be I don't think that's else. I don't think that's necessary. Right. To be, I, 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 oh I no, hear, I don't I think it Edwin. needs to go in just the article. The second, yeah. But I'm, I'm just seconds, saying. Here's, here's I'm just I I'm, yeah. I don't want that in the article. I'm here's, just saying that that's here's what the I money. Read. The town transferred back eighty-five thousand dollars to the Community Preservation Act general fund, which was originally approved to fund electrical and ceiling restoration work at the Goodwin Memorial Library at the annual town meeting May first, two thousand. Well, it was um, the only thing um, uh, to fund, excuse me, um, what would you do for the library? And somehow we have to say that it was given to the library trustees. I don't know where to fit okay. that All into right. the... I don't know how we can ask the selectmen to give us the money from the general fund when they never got it. It's still... Well, no, no, no. Well, it would be the money set aside would be returned. It's, it's set aside. They, it was set aside to who? I mean, the but, library, but they're not, not, we never gave it to them to use. Right. It's still there. That's what I mean. But, so yeah. we but it's kind of like out an of outstanding check. If you think of a checkbook, you've written a check to somebody, it hasn't yeah. been cashed, the money still shows up in your account, right. but you can't spend that money unless you void or you get that check returned. So we're asking for the check to be returned. Just void the check. Right. We or void the check, right. but we need a town vote to do right. that. Right. We need and that's what we we're trying to do. Do it. it it's well. something that happens all the time at town meeting. You, you vote to return this money that wasn't spent to put back in this right. fund right. where it belongs. It's right. Like, right. It's just they call it housekeeping. Housekeeping. Right. Exactly. Housekeeping I'll, right. I'll, I'll suggest we put this in the consent portion of town meeting. But somehow in the article you have to say that I the will, money was that. given to the to trustees. The yes. So I'll reread it. Allocated. Allocated to the. Uh, the town transferred back eighty-five thousand dollars to the Community Preservation Act general fund, which was originally approved uh, to the trustees of the Goodwin Memorial Library to fund electrical work and ceiling reconstruction at the Goodwin Memorial Library uh, annual town meeting, May first, two thousand fourteen. Mm -hmm. I would advocate at some point that you consider, or we, you know, what, or what are the thoughts of the group of putting together this? A larger scope to sweep in all those areas. It's not going to happen between now and October. I, I, I get it. So, so take voluntaries for the clawback subcommittee. 
<laughs> claw. Are you saying claw back? Yeah, that's and that's, that's the not Washington. Claw back. You know when oh, you claw it back. Right when when when, when the federal government gives money to states and the states don't spend it, then the federal it's government claws claw it back. <laughs> yeah. Let's not call it that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I won't call it that. Well, anyhow, Andy Kopacki does have a good point. We should try to clean it up, and I realize you it's should. not going to be easy. Do you want to? Do you want to wait? And do it all together? No, no. I think no. We should, let's let's, let's get this, this one. This is a good starting point. Let's see how it's handled. Let's see what happens. Maybe we're gonna just say, you know what, let's leave it alone. Right. Well, I mean, the fact that, like I said, you've got money sitting out there that could be used for something else. Could be used for something else. It should be returned, and that's and it's been more than two years. Mm -hmm. It's been sitting there, so. That's Use kind of been the it. new policy yeah. of what the committee that, that come out of? That was a general fund. General fund. I have the original Warren article here in a very small print. And I think, actually, I think any return monies must be put into the general fund. No, it uh, goes no, to no, whatever right. fund what they were it was taken, taken, out, of, was taken out of the general fund. For the CPA. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not so. the town's general fund. Right. right, not the town, but in the right. CPA in the, general fund. Right. That's what I meant. I, no, I think, it doesn't it go back to that? Particular it category. goes where it right. came out of. But it, it came out, of, it the came out of the general fund. Yeah. Well, that one, right. yes. Uh, I'm, I don't, I'll have to see it to believe it, but I think there's a, and I, I could be wrong, but I think that if any return monies must go back into the CPA general fund. No. Or well, wherever it goes. Well, no. Whatever. We don't need we, to argue about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well, we, we had that discussion, and with Larry, because and he, he was very specific, saying it goes to the fund where it came out of. So you need to vote, Andy? Well, any other discussion on the, what are we calling it? Mm -hmm. The return? <laughs> I like the clawback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the return. Well, okay, do we, have a mo do we need a motion in a second, or is this? We might as well, just to yeah. Just to show right, so that. Who's going to make the motion? So moved. Okay. Second. Okay, no more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That was unanimous. Okay. All right, the CPA giveth and the CPA taketh away. Um, okay, that's it. That's it for spending articles. Good. Um, we are moving. No, this is the wrong All right, so we need to move a little faster because I've got less than a like 50 okay. minutes left on my right. yeah. 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 Can I Can I see the agenda? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Election of new officers. Do we want to do it um, individual or as a slate? Well, my thought is you should take up the item that's after that about having um, potential staff because if you do, then that would no longer require secretarial. No, well, we need, that, if that's in the bylaw, I think we need officers. Mm -hmm. The president, vice president, secretary. Does it secretary, say secretary? secretary? Somebody would still be secretary, you just wouldn't have to take the minutes. Right. You could just sign them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to make a motion for secretary. Take a vote that the officers stay the same. I, I don't want to be treasurer any longer. The slate would be uh, here. Yeah. Here was. Okay, so I'll stay as chair. Let's do it as a slate. Okay. Any objection to that? No. no. Okay. Okay. Um, um, does somebody else want to be co-chair? Or vice? Like if you wanted to be the next chair? Co-chair for a few years and then just slide right in. <laughs> no, okay, Edwin, will you stay in sure. there? All right. And uh, I go to the gym. My heart's in good shape. You have nothing to worry about. Well, I drink beer and eat flat potatoes. Okay. <laughs> You're going to be treasurer. Five hundred. Anyone else want to be secretary? I Is thought you had a thing that uh, you we were going to hire a secretary. Well, uh, uh, it's more we like have to do an office. executive assistant. All that, are you okay with being secretary if we get somebody to take uh, minutes? Yes. The condition that, right. Okay, okay are, are there any other officers? That's it. Right? That's it. Yeah. 
constable, <laughs> sergeant at arms. I hope we don't need that. <laughs> okay. Any discussion on the uh, election of officers? Very so good we had a motion Move the for the slate. state, and then we need a second. I'll second. Okay. Very good choices. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Maybe I should abstain. No. Unanimous. You vote for yourself. Okay. It only took us you should vote a year. <laughs> We're only a year behind schedule. Because if you lose by one vote. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. Um, Okay, vote to approve draft warrant articles. We already did that. We did that one at a time. Number six, discussion on hiring uh, a paid committee executive assistant. Let's do that. Smooth. Yeah, I think we should do it. But I don't, I'm, what I was thinking about, there might be somebody in the Council on Aging that we don't have to look towards a student or somebody to do it. Well, I also had mentioned that Janice. She doesn't want to do it. She doesn't? No. Last I talked to her, she did. No. Okay. You haven't talked to her in two months. <laughs> I talked to her. Well, no. She mentioned to me that <laughs> yeah. she just yeah. says, you know, at first I thought about it, but it's something that I wouldn't be able to give full attention to. And okay. I didn't want to do it. Okay. Now, maybe that was three weeks ago, so maybe she changed her mind. So. Did two or three people want to be on the hiring committee? Or what? For the executive assistant. Oh, okay. Um, you could come. So how much are you looking to spend? Well, I, I think the whatever it needs I to think cost. the committee should come up with a, you know, number of hours. And what? And what are the list tests? of duties? Yeah. Because, uh, I, because a lot of it, I don't see that the other committees are doing. It. Yeah, that possible. Do we really need one? Right. right. I mean, if we need, well, the planning board really needs one, and we don't have one. Right. It's uh, see, sadly, you know, we need one. Sadly, not, not, not really. Money. I mean, we meet occasionally. Joe, would you like my laptop and you take minutes? <laughs> well, I, honestly, on a lot of the minutes, I mean, you take great minutes. You take awesome minutes. I don't see this happening with any other committees. Exactly right. You so, don't have to take that coherent. I mean, you minutes. should, but none Especially of the others are. First three years of building. Well, here, here's what I think. I'm just saying. I, I never think, does, and I, I've always done minutes. Here's yep. what I think. Yeah, right. Right. If two people or three people want to get together and put up a proposal uh, for the rest of the committee to approve of, uh, we will definitely look at it, including, okay. um, you know, potential number of hours, uh, the duties, and I guess salary. Mm. See, we, we are... So. Um, fortunate in that I believe the money that we set aside for administration right. every year mm -hmm. could be utilized for right. that, That's whereas right. the planning board doesn't have that luxury or anybody else in town, you have to add that to your budget, and we already have the funds Indeed. available. So, so, you, so you, got, you guys can meet on your own, and when we, we can either have a separate meeting in a few months, or we can wait six months and do it a usual cycle, and then we can sort of decide. Well, it would be nice to have someone on board if we're, before we do the spring stuff, and especially if the person is going to be helping with files. Okay. Because well, this would be downtime where they could work on files before we could, the we, spring stuff. We could call stuff. a special meeting in October mm -hmm. or something like that to discuss this. But, and, does anyone know the uh, state law requirements? About minutes. Do we have to take minutes? Well, my understanding. Yes. yes. My understanding is we have to have the proposed the uh, the agenda. motion, who first and seconded it, and the vote. And then the, that's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be really detailed, but it's so much more helpful if there's a little more detail than just that. Right. It's it's helpful, but. I, I, I would be not, it's just me, but I, I would not be in favor of spending money on something when I'm, I'm listening to the other boards, they they just take the basics, just the votes, they write those down, but they, they don't do a, it is wonderful, your minutes, but it, it's not necessary, um, and as far as some of the filing goes, they've just decided to do the, um, where you can, the um, older people, instead of paying a tax bill, didn't they have a thing where you could... The green thumbs. 
Is that what it's called? I forget well, what it's like called. It's like a green pill. Or you, there, there's interns. There's, there's different things that we could get. However, but if you don't have, if you have five different people trying to do filing without having yeah. someone there to supervise them or to give them that information. It doesn't happen. It's, it's not going to happen. I, I'm and sorry, it's not I just think that the money that you would be spending, if you're going to be spending a good amount of money on, on administrative work, that's money that we could be using to put, put towards re, uh, restoring some of our buildings. I mean, the buildings that we have and some of the projects that no. we are coming up. No, this no, comes out would, of administration. Would the, we, it would come out of the yeah, administration. Yeah, but that administration so, so money goes back when you don't fund. use it. Right, so yeah, we're, so where, where does that we're not, that we're not agreeing go back? to yeah. spend anything yet, now. Who's we're just agenda? looking into the possibility. I think it would be a uh, expensive proposition up front to get the all the paperwork organized simply because it's not organized mm -hmm. right now. The most expense would be right there. The monthly meetings or the Orderly Once everything meetings, gets yeah. organized, it it's should be. It's not very expensive. Not that hard. Right. Right. And also, I would just like to say that you know, you planning board has a budget. You, this committee has a budget. That committee has a budget, and it, they're they are funded through the town. We're dealing directly. We bypass the town, and the town gives us a whole pile of that money. That doesn't make it right. It's still taxpayer money going to exactly. it, it is. It yeah. is. I agree with you, but. It seems like there's more, there's less of a disconnect, and we are given the money to spend wisely. And we want to make sure yeah. that it is spent and, and I will say that being someone who has tried to, I'm familiar with these projects, and trying to make heads and tails of all the files that are in there, <laughs> it cannot just be handed to someone without someone work like an intern or something like that. I have worked with interns in offices, and it's like working with a consultant. When I worked in Northampton, we hired all these consultants to do all this work, but yet it was the employees who they said, oh, I need this, I need this, and I need this and this, and you end up doing the work that they get paid for and they just compile it together. Well, maybe maybe this well, is maybe this is two different two different things that we have to consider here. I mean, it's certainly valid that we shouldn't be if we don't need to spend fifteen thousand dollars a year. Why should we do it? But there's also a how many years? Eight, ten years of backlog of uh, or more. More than well, that. fourteen years. Fourteen years of, of getting stuff organized. So that's kind of one project. And then the question is 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 you know what do you need going forward? And and uh, I'm certainly not in favor of of just spending money for the sake of having it, but um, there is probably some level, if, if, if it can be done on a monthly basis, no we, do, we do have $1.8 million that we're in, you know, stewards of to some extent, uh, whereas... 1.9 you know, almost. 1.5, so there's, there's other committees, I mean, like the building committee, we took copious amounts of notes in our, our meeting for minutes for monthly years. Uh, it was great to go back and refer to, but nobody else really checked on it. Mm -hmm. So um, it didn't ultimately really contribute to the mission of the committee. But it is. Um, but we also didn't have 1.5 million dollars that we were contending with, and all these you know subcontractors coming in. We we get proposals. Mm -hmm. But then yeah. then again, nowadays you have this is completely taped. So when you have to, I want to watch the planning board. I just watch it. I don't, I mean, you don't have yeah. to go to the minutes. But the lawyers really want to have a suit. They ask for the tape. They don't ask for our notes. And also, Paulette, you're absolutely right. Uh, there was a student who wanted to do community service work for promarital recognition. So Jimmy Max and I came in every Wednesday for two hours, and this kid helped us file. Mm -hmm. So you're right. You have to be there. Right. And somebody has to be. And we don't have anyone who can do that. Okay. I'm gone, you know, 6.30 in the morning till 5.30 at night. Well, um, you have a full-time job, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing lesson plans, thank you very much. <laughs> but I think they're looking at some of these projects, too, because it's not just this committee that has 
boxes and boxes of paperwork. We have the building inspector that has a whole room full of boxes but and stuff. But he has that a staff to person. No, he, they need to get these things digitalized. They need yeah. to get these things organized. And, it, it, and it's, it's a, something yeah, that is, they're putting right. on. But even digitizing them, which is a, a valuable project, it still has to be organized because mm -hmm. you know right. everybody whose whose computers files are, are highly organized. I mean, you, you know, right. if you're not on top of your photos in a couple of years, they're just a whole pile of photos. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, I shouldn't have something on my computer from 2014. You could. Well, it was that. It was that. But she sounds to me like there's going to need to be further discussion about well, this. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to ask a question. This money that is, is set aside for administration. Yeah, every year. Yeah, yeah. Is it set in stone? Mm -hmm. So it's there. We can't use it for other projects. Correct. Right. So well, what it, it does is you so you get the money that's put in to that area. It gets divvied right? out to that. It is put into administration. But how much do you really use of it? Because you only have so much postage, you only have so much at the end of the year, you don't use it, it goes back in. Right. But and then you get another test. It's one of the ways we can go back. One of the ways you balance the budget. Right. Mm -hmm. you start, you start, you start with a high fund. budget. And I don't agree. Yeah. That's what I don't CPA. understand. The CPA administration fund, mm -hmm. not the general fund. Not the no, the not, the, not the administration. So no, 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 no. The CPA if money, the money the CPA money, if we allocate it to administration and we don't use it. Doesn't it stay just like historical? Yes. It doesn't so, go so back into the general fund. No, it doesn't go back. Then into how much the is general. in there? Then wait, because wait. you don't use it there every was year. What do you 15, have? Fifteen thousand, but we took Larry Smith's budget was in two years. Right. I don't know which two fiscal years That's it confused. was. It may have been. I'll find out. I'll is find this, out is about this where that money is and how much is in there. You ought to be able to find out. It doesn't wind up in our accounts. No, it comes into. I asked this question. Okay, we have historical. They get a set aside. We have conservation, recreation, or open space. They get a set aside. We also have a line item for us for administration for costs. So if we have to hire someone to do we kind of valley planning, but if that money isn't spent, it stays in there. So if we had ten thousand dollars and we had two left at the end of the year and we allocate another 10, we now have 12 there. Okay. Just like everything. See, I asked that question and they told me no. They told me that it was not. She was, she was right. So okay. I mean, I asked David Nixon the other day and he said it wasn't. It goes back. So it's outside of, I'm not, I got to answer. I have a meeting with Linda Sanders. It's outside of the CPA funds it's, that we can spend and it's outside of, it doesn't get clawed back. Correct. And it doesn't go to the general fund of the town. Either. Correct. Oh, well, yeah, no, that it doesn't. Stay it stays, it stays in the CPA in the community or it stays yeah. in the town. Um, okay. I, sure I think it's a good idea to have, t you know, first a temporary person to clean up the files if they're in such terrible shape. Well, they are 14 the years. Mm -hmm. Huh? No, the the. But it, the first it's chair take just kind of put stuff in files. I we I was trying to attempt to clean them up and. There was 14 copies of one, or one piece of paper. Right. So we need 14. So I kept two and I threw the rest away. You know, but and it was just a little bit of file. And you pull out that drawer. There's that file. You pull out this drawer. There's that file. And I found a file cabinet alongside the road, and I put, I used that. I put files in that. And then once they were finished, we still keep the files once the project was done. Right. Because we need to keep those records. Yeah, and we need to keep those records. The, the issue is it's tedious and time-consuming work, and you need to know what I'll you're looking it. at. Yeah. You can't just have someone off the street say, I'll come in and volunteer, because right. there may be five projects for town hall. And they may say, oh, here's a town hall. But if they're not looking at the numbers of the application, they may be throwing stuff away. So right. that's because I know this two summers ago, three did. summers ago, mm -hmm. I tried to work yeah. with Edwin yeah. to start straightening this was good. out. Yeah. But he and said started. that Larry Smith even said that he he spent hours talking to David Nixon to come up with this because yeah. mm -hmm. there wasn't yeah. Linda Sanderson did most of it. Yeah. Did uh, you know? But this is a start. 
But we also, David Nixon also, Nixon also promised us a room. I see how I get that electronically, though. I can't find that. Larry was supposed to send us this electronically. Uh, who is the woman who took over for him? Who's the new Larry? <laughs> no, there was a woman who was sending the emails, too. So, but they were supposed to send us emails. So, but so, so, so in terms of this, uh, being assistant, Suzanne's do people feel so strongly opposed that they don't even want it? Research. We need some. We need I, I think we need somebody. We, we need to yeah. figure something out. Even right. if it's just to get the files in order, you know. Okay. So. I mean, first and foremost, we it? need a place for our files well, to rest. David Nixon, when he was here last time, that's a fourth issue. Said, we have, I have a place where you can put your files and that. He is I think, BSC. I think he was being well, sarcastic. He told us we so, have But that's our first issue. We need no, a place not. where our files to rest. If we wait for him to do something, we'll be... All right, we're not going to resolve this tonight. We'll be here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> Hold on just a second. So do you two want to meet and come up with these, the guidelines and a possible person and then we'll have a meeting and we'll discuss it again. Is that okay? Okay, yes, makes sense. All right. I don't know what questions to ask. Yeah, and I'm a newbie, so. You know, that's all right. We're gonna dump on you. The important thing is I don't have to do it. Right. Well, I know all, I know the disarray that the files are in. Yeah, exactly. So. I'll admit that. It hasn't gotten better with the new chair. <laughs> well, Let's put it that way. Not, not only do we, play, we need a place to put the physical files, but we need a, really need a safe place to put the electronic files. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, one th one step at a time. One right. step. Okay. Let's not. We're. Let's get the files organized first. Let's then we do the other stuff. First, the, first the 20th century yeah. problems. They have to be The senior center will have to share that with anybody. Yeah. All the files. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody will be there. Okay. Okay. Are Same there any, any, okay. any okay. other yeah. issues? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Any, right. any other yeah. issues before yeah. before yeah. we yeah. adjourn? Actually, just does some allow it out. So we we are done accepting proposals and everything. Yes. Okay. Motion we adjourn. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.